Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM 2 episode 65. With the destruction of the forge in Western Europe, I have taken two pips off of the Avatar project, and that leaves me still with a lot of time remaining. I have the opportunity to strike over here in Eastern Europe and immediately take another five pips off of them. And I am going to take this mission um, just to train up a few more people and to make sure that I take another five pips off so that the Avatar project is really not going to be a threat. Now I'm going to have to do this with a few of the, let's say, lesser trained operatives. Because my elite troops, all the brigadiers, they just have been on fights. And that means that they're mostly unavailable. The exception being Underwood. So I might send Underwood on that mission because he's an excellent shooter. And fill up the rest of the roster with a few other operatives from the lower ranks. So here goes. Let's take down that facility in Eastern Europe. 23 enemies, including Custodian Master, Custodian, so those are the guns, the guys with the really high hit points, Gatekeeper, Berserker Omega. It's not going to be an easy mission. It's not going to be an easy mission. But hopefully with uh, Sam Fisher here, I'll be able to scout it out. Maybe do some damage from afar using snipers. Uh, Giga can stay, Sam can stay. Let's see about the rest. I'll need Underwood as a sniper. He can get the rifle from the, uh, the downed sniper. What's his face? Um, the hunter. Let's see, you work with Leo, right? Yeah, 58 out of 76. Oh, sorry, no, that's Malie Man. Who was it, Frank? Oh! Bond may died, potentially. Right, so you work well with Leticia. But the last thing that I need on a mission like this is a very short range operative. That is just a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna go for long range only. So, an adept, not ideal. This commando, He's the guy with the shotguns, right? Yeah, that's not a short range operative. That's not what I need. Mm. Who then? Largazo, potentially. Largazo and Jostine. The problem with this guy is that he sucks the willpower away from others and aim on top of that. So that's not what I want for this mission. The other one's a bishop. I still have Ashley. She's a pretty decent shooter. And I might, in fact, take a couple of lieutenants on this mission. Unfortunately, Red Fox needs a torso augment. Hold on, don't I already have one? Let me check. I thought I produced one at some point. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, augmentations. No. I didn't produce one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll get right on that. Where is my proving grounds? I haven't even queued it up either. That's pretty bad. Uh, oh, I'm out of alarm course. Crap. In that case, I'm gonna have to go with one of the cheaper torsos. Nano course torso mark one. And that will only cost me 25 supplies. Still, I think I will send Elsa on the mission there. Because she is turning into a pretty fun operator. Uh, no. No. Yes, yes. Correct. Okay. Let's have a combat engineer here. Right, with Sterling Archer. The last thing that I want on these mission are squaddies. So Elsa's on the mission. And I need somebody who just really kicks ass, who does a load of damage. The spark is definitely one, but I'll need another. And sergeants are really not gonna cut it. In that case, I'm going to revert to uh, Fang Yin. She's a medic but also trained as a psionic. Very, very potent dual rank operator. 
Psyamp. Uh, Alien Psyamp. Alright, everybody, hand in your weapons. We got Underwood on the Sniper. Dark Lance. Secondary item. It's gonna be the Plasma Shorty. Utility item. I'm thinking SCP Ammo. Because if uh, Sam can spot for him and he can shoot with SCP Ammo, we can inflict quite a load of very, very interesting damage. Making sure that the enemy is gonna be taking all sorts of mental effects. I'll also equip a stun grenade. Actually, no. A stun grenade would take an action. I better equip a med kit. Where are my healing items? None of medikit. That's one. Then we got bandit. Bandit's ideal with a pistol. So I'll definitely give her one pistol. And I might as well make that uh, either the distiller or dark claw. I think the distiller is better because it also has that burning shot. And then as a main weapon, the Disruptor Rifle. Dragon rounds for that weapon. Actually, I'd rather take AP rounds. Because this thing is fantastic in case I end up fighting that Gatekeeper. And it will allow her to immediately pierce all the armor, or at least most of the armor on the Gatekeeper. Combat Sims. Mm-hmm. Nah, I might just install Combat Rush since I'm not doing anything else with him. She has a few more stat points. 81 aim. Spark. Standard Helix Rail Cannon. Powered bit. Secondary is going to be... Um, the Plasma Blaster, potentially, or the Shredstorm Cannon. This is more damage. 8 to 11. Ammo type. Tracer rounds. And that's 84 aim on the spark. Then we got Mr. Fisher. That's the improved education. Improved Reaper weapon. That leaves Elsa. I'm going to stick her with a war suit. That way I can use a long range ammunition like the blaster launcher. And on top of that, I'll try and give her a decent weapon. I'd say the refiner will do. Secondary item. Stim Ray to make sure that she can heal people up. And then finally, uh, a scramble gear. I really don't want her captured. And it's going to help with even more aim. What else does it do? Bonus critical chance. 10. That's nice. Especially in a weapon that damaging. Um, the only thing I still haven't equipped is the Arashi. But I'm not going to go with that. For the simple reason that the Arashi is such a short range weapon. And I am really not interested in short-range warfare. Hold on, I need to give the refiner to her. So you're going to get a different weapon. Um, if I give her a, sh a sniper rifle, is that going to help? It does have an advanced scope on it. So she's going to have 70 aim plus whatever the sniper provides. That's another 10. Yeah, hit bonus against long range targets. Unfortunately, I don't have any better scopes available. Superior hair trigger, yes. Expand mag, yes. Maliman, thank you for subscribing for 13 months. That's a long streak. Thank you, man. You're gonna need a gremlin. And she is on general medical duty. Okay, check. Medic. Second medic. We have the distiller. We have the pirate bit. Helix wheel cannon. We're good to go. Let's take these guys down. Oh, and Finn guy. Thank you very much for hosting. I didn't quite catch that the first time. Thank you very much. Sky Ranger deployed. This is going to be a pretty standoff fight. At least as long as I can control it. When it gets close, I hope to take them down one by one. Otherwise, I'm going to get quickly overwhelmed. A Berserker Omega plus a Gatekeeper plus those guys with the immense amount of hit points is not a good combination. So I'm going to have to make sure that I can spread them out, take them down in smaller pods, and Sam Fisher is going to be instrumental. Because without him, it's going to be very, very difficult to see the pods coming. So he's going to scout out, 
potentially blowing up vehicles as he spots them, causing a bit of demolition and destruction. Uh, Underwood's going to help out with sniper rifle with the SCP ammo, and that's going to cause all sorts of mayhem in the ranks. And potentially, if worse comes to worse and I engage them, already have them weakened, and especially lowering their aim. That's the key. And aside from that, he's going to be sneaking in, which is what he does best. Sneak in, plant the bomb, get out. If I have to kill those 23, I will, but I'd rather not. Chimps and Cars, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Let's see, 23 aliens divided by four-ish. That would be six pods. Six separate groups could be patrolling this map. If they went for pods of five, it's going to be either four pods or five, depending on how big the pods have gotten. I hope it's a large map, otherwise it's going to be a very quick fight. Not in a good way. Research crucial to the Avatar project in this region. The coordinates are locked in for a tactical strike. Move to the designated position and plant the X4 charges. Once they're armed, move to minimum safe distance and we'll turn that place into rubble. Minimum safe distance, you mean evac everybody. <laughs> minimum safe distance. Finn guy, you're gonna hug the Omega. Are we gonna do this again? Because last time around, that Omega Berserker went down very, very quickly, and there was no time to hug whatsoever. So, hopefully, I can do the same thing here. Okay, that's where we're going. We have potential for... Oh, there's 25. I thought it said 23 on the map. I must have misread that. Fisher? You're going to be checking out this place, seeing if it's clear for the snipers. Looks decent. Looks decent. Anybody on the other side? Not that I can see. Oof, this is going to be a tricky shot. I don't like that. Elsa, over there. I'll put the refiner here. I'm still in concealment, so I can just move around pretty freely. Underwood. Lawrence. And finally the spark. I might just keep the spark well, in cover over here to make sure that he's not going to get detected. It's hardest to hide the spark. He could have gone down a bit faster. Yeah... Oh, hold on. I'm thinking of the other Berserker Omega. Because last week we took down two. One was taken down very quickly, and the other one was not taken down quick enough. And that caused Eric's death. Okay, what do we got down here? Okay, you have a load of hit points. I doubt that he's going to let me walk in here. Thanks for the tip. Let's check it out. Is that the only thing? Yeah, it's the only pot. We got one, two, so probably three custodians parked together. The sniper, at least this one, can only hit the turret. And she won't even kill it in one go. Underwood might be able to with an asset round. 10 to 12, high amount of damage output, more potential. But I think the acid rounds might be more useful here. To that so let's get ready for a strike. Unfortunately for Elsa, I just have no better cover. This is it, period. Bandit over there with the disruptor rifle. This is all low cover. All right, let's make some high cover then. Overwatch. 
Don't start shooting just yet. We're not ready. And I need to know if they happen to be closing by a vehicle. Or something else that might explode. Oh, hold on. Second pod. Jesus. A gatekeeper with 93 aim. Alright, here's the good news. I can see them. They can't see me. That means that a long-range sniper shot might poison the group. But if they move any closer, I'm going to be in a fight of basically 5 versus 8. No, make that 9. Which is not the kind of fight that I'm really looking forward to. Now, I can still pick when and where I want to fight. Let's first scout out a bit more. I have these guys tagged. I know where they are. And I'm going to be able to follow them. See, there's another group. I need more information. Look what we have here. There's an Archon. I consider that pod a lesser threat. Not no threat, but lesser. Giga, back a bit. Careful, careful, careful. There is a potential that I'll be getting my whole squad detected when I sneak in, plant the bomb, and try to get out. That's a bit of a risk. And I don't, I can't sneak through here. Are there any other pods out here? Yes, sir. Because maybe I just have to take down this pod first. There's a lot of open area here. So there could very well be another pod hiding out here. Just patrolling. Chance. Nothing yet. Whoa, what's with your willpower? And yours? I'm not actually asking you guys to do anything, but your willpower is really bad. Okay, they're moving back. Ish. Where are these going? That's way more interesting. Oh, dear. They're getting relatively close. Shit, there's more? Never seen anything like that. Yeah, neither have I. That is a really large group. That sounded like a mech jumping on a building. Alright, so I'm tracking these guys, but I'll never be able to kill them all. Not in one turn, and potentially not in two. So if I open up, I'll start taking hits. Start taking hits or start taking losses. Bombardment Protocol could hit a fair few of them, but not yet enough. My sniper, Elsa, could hit a few. Guaranteed 100% crit. Whether that's going to be enough to kill him, I don't know. It might. The refiner... The refiner has a lot of potential damage output. It's really going to come down to how many they actually get hit. And then Underwood, he can only fire once. And finally, we have Bandit over here. Uh, yeah, you can potentially get a kill. 
But there's just a lot of hit points walking around here. It's too risky. Fisher, check it out. Still not satisfied with this part of the map. I'm on it. Hold. Don't start shooting. Don't start shooting. Not at all. Okay, that's one pod leaving. Excellent. Or, well, leaving-ish. These are getting awfully close. How close are they getting? Because if they get too close, I'm going to have a problem. They will spot the spark. If it's just these four, I can live with it. I can handle that. But if that pod with the gatekeeper closes in, it's a whole different story. The gatekeeper pod currently is just sitting there. Spark it down here. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. The mech is standing inside the cell. Curious positioning. Meshed, thank you for subscribing. Three months. Thank you. I'll check it out. Eyes on the prize. Maintain cover. If we're gonna spring this trap, we need to do it well. That Wraith Commander just walked right through the wall. <laughs> Neat. Uh-oh. This pod could potentially be a problem if they get closer. If they get too close, they'll open up a flank. Like this guy. That Lancer right there. That's going to be tricky. No, I can't move. If this pot knows what's good for them, they won't shoot me. Sam, the faster you can get in and plant that C4 or X4, the better. Because this situation is about to get even more risky, I'm afraid. And I cannot scout out too far, because if I accidentally happen to run into that Berserker King, or Berserker Omega, I'm dead. Speaking of... We found it. It's right on top of the facility. 45 hit points, 4 armor, 68 aim, 20 mobility. Sneaking in here is going to be risky. Not impossible, but just really risky. Don't move. Not one step. Okay, they're going. That's what I want to see. Just leave. Uh-oh. This second pod could be a real problem now. Because if I open up on them, or get forced to, then that other pod could still pose a threat. And I can still can't move. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to go on Overwatch. And hope that this pod just turns around. But it's a big if. Fisher, get in here. We need to plant that explosive and get ready for an immediate extraction. Are these guys going to come crashing through that roof? 
Well, not yet, anyway. Okay, I can do that. I really don't want to fight them. It's just way too many. Overwatch. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Cover your ears, kid. If these guys engage, I am going to have a lot of fighting on my hands. What? You spotted him from over there? What bullshit is that? Here goes. We just went live. One kill. He's uh, SCP infected. And recovering. Oh shit. Did that whole pod wake up? Yeah, oh fuck me, the whole pod woke up. Oh no. I'm gonna have to- yeah, there's 15 actives. Jesus. All because I got detected with the spark. According to the game, I wasn't gonna get detected. And then the game went, I lied, and here we are. I call bullshit on that one. I call big bullshit on that. Because this is just... It's not even the guys over here that saw me, right? It's the guys here. So they were looking up from down here and going, there's something moving up there and it's really big. And the guys over here were going like, what the hell are you talking about? It's weird. I don't like this. I think this is cheesy. The game should accurately tell me when I'm going to get detected. If it doesn't, I'm going to reload it. At least now I know that if I take this course of action, I am going to get detected. It is that easy. Play it safe. All right. So here's the hoping that this pod, once again, is not actually going to move up. I can't move. So everybody just gets to stay where they are. Fisher still gets to move in. And I'll get to the objective. Everybody else, get ready to start shooting. Because I'm probably still going to end up in this fight, but at least it'll be on their turn. They'll have to start it. Which means I get at least one overwatch shot instead of me getting one shot with the spark and that or yeah, well, getting overwatch shots and then one actual action with the spark. I didn't get detected. I didn't get detected. <sighs> okay. Can you move? You can move. Get the hell out of here. Got it moving. If they want this hill, they can have this hill. I refuse to die on this hill. On my way. Spark. Back, 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 back. All right, we're still not out of the woods because I'm going to set off this thing. And if that Berserker Omega takes offense, well, tough. Time for a change to plans, then. 
Yeah, about that. Stick to this corner and don't get seen. I understand. Everybody else, don't get seen. I'm hearing paws moving around, but I can't see them anymore. There. That's the other pod. Oh, and here comes that pod that was sort of chasing me down. Wait. They spotted me? No, they didn't. What the fuck is going on? It's like the game... Oh, right, I got detected because I planted the bomb. That might have something to do with it. Alright, run. Just a sec. At least now I'm dealing with one pod instead of a whole bunch. That's something I can potentially manage. Storm position. <laughs> and shoot them up close with your sniper rifle. Amusing, but thank you, I'll pass. Um, yeah, let's take the Archon out. That's 10%, that's a 40% to crit. Let's go with an area of effect weapon first. I expect to be out of here in about one to two turns. So I can throw quite a bit of my damage output on them. Without risking too much. And we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 active. You can shoot the Archon, but it won't really hit. Or it's not as likely to hit. And at the same time, I cannot be pushing too close, because these guys are going to push in. Possibly. These guys are definitely going to appear. The alternative is to just evac everybody. Just get out. I don't have to fight them. I can just do a bunch of damage on the way out. The only person who still has to evac is Fisher, but he can sneak around. He can probably get to the extract pretty easy. Alright, how far can you guys run? Not terribly far. Let's go here. Call it cheesy if you will. I wouldn't blame you, but I don't have to take this fight. He who knows when to fight and what's and when not to fight will always be victorious. Better start running. That struck a nerve. Critical damage. Alright, I'll be leaving now. Cleaner. Um, yeah, just take out as many guns as you can. Two down. Underwoods. Take the snake. Snake down. Can I kill off that thing in one go, I wonder? Maybe, if I roll really high. And she doesn't. Let's leave. And that leaves Giga. If I want to have Giga out of here, I'm going to have to do that very quickly. If I'm not mistaken, this still gives me one action. Yeah, it does. So now I can put that mech down. But... But 
Potentially, I can put them both down. No, he has 15 hit points. That's too many. Could I shoot the guys over here? <laughs> I can. I can shoot a lot of guys over there, in fact. Or no. I'm not sure if it reaches exactly that far. It'd be amusing, though. Can I shoot through a hill? Do it. Oh, yes. That actually hit them all the way over there. Well done, Giga. <laughs> Off you go. And this is anti anticlimactic. Uh, yes, it is a little bit. But I don't want to risk my very, very highly valued troops for something as taking down a facility if I don't absolutely have to. It just doesn't make sense. I know it's a game. I know you're supposed to take risks in XCOM, but this is the calculated risk. Just making sure that I don't take any losses. I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, jeez, the Berserker Omega all the way over here now. You got some pace there. Interesting. With cheese like that, I can set up a Michelin star restaurant. <laughs> Suppose. Don't worry, I'll try to make the next mission a bit more entertaining. But with guys like these and the gatekeeper and such, I just don't want to take any chances. Especially if I'm just running lieutenants. It's too risky. Yeah, that's some cooldown. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, on my way. It's too risky and it's not what I need to do. And now Advent is just going to be thrown for a loop. I've killed a few. Lots of them are running. And overall... They're just going to be running around until I blow up the facility. So it doesn't really matter. The only thing that I need to do is to get Sam back to the extraction point. That could prove challenging. If they're all going to crowd it there. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get that pickup. I could really use another uh, Illyrium core. Running a bit short on those. You're wondering if I, re I remember the first video I made. What, you mean like the first, actual first? From Robot Wars, was it? No. It was a, a voxel game of sorts. You were building... Some sort of battle bots with blocks and... I don't really recall what it was. But yeah. Um, I think that was the original Robo voice. Not the game, but the way I was speaking then. That was dreadful. But hey, 2000 videos after that. And this is me now. Uh, could you guys all potentially leave the extraction point? Look at them all standing around there. That's going to make it difficult to get there. If I want to do it with extra cheese, I mean, I'm opening a restaurant already, I might as well get extra cheese. I just wait for the, cr the pickup to go off cooldown. I hide in the corner of the map, I call down the extraction again, and I'm out of here. If I really wanted to, <laughs> that's the way that I could play it. I'm on it. But isn't this the, like the perfect fifth etch or f uh, third echelon mission? Fourth echelon, whichever echelon Fisher was. It's it's fairly easy. Just... What the fuck? He just... <laughs> oh yeah, here it goes. The gatekeeper. 
wanted to reanimate a zombie. So instead he killed a muton. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You want the plate with just the cheese, please? Do you think I serve anything else? Judging by how I played this mission? <laughs> oh my god, this was cheesy. <laughs> Did I find out what's behind the Cryo Priest problem? No. I'm not even sure which mod adds it. I checked out a better advent last time that you mentioned it, but it's not that mod because I'm not actually running it. So it must be another mod, I just haven't figured out which one. Minstrel, good evening. <laughs> Even the shield bearer has worn off at this point. Uh, I think I need one or two more turns to get out. Let's go. Remote starting a car is interesting. Why are you even in stasis? Is that courtesy of the gatekeeper, maybe? Was he gatewaying his way into somebody else's demise? By the way, guys, how is this mission, according to you, different from a mission that I did a few weeks ago, at least on the stream, where I had one Reaper, and he got spotted at some point. I think he died by now. He got spotted at some point by, what was it, the Chaos Initiative? Chaos Insurgency? And he was able to get everybody spotted, started a fight, and then just ran off. How is that not cheesy? Long watch. I might even start picking off targets here, because I can kill that heavy mech. And I can kill the mutons. Oh, Minstrel, thank you for that. Um, the seventh, yeah, that's not... The seventh is not indeed... A Saturday. One of those options is winning. Okay. Um, I'll make sure that that gets, that gets corrected. This is a guaranteed kill. But if that destroyer commando gentleman comes running off, I'm going to have a bigger challenge on my hands. I am so tempted to start picking off targets, though. But it's just going to get me two ability points and nothing else. And not even for this guy, because he's already promoted. Alright, face drone, I'm not sure if you want to ride or something, but it's time for me to go. You See you. The hard way. Oh, now you get a move? <laughs> All the pods just got activated. Oh shit, he gets a shot. Okay. Good thing he was on low health. That could have easily been a crit. Alright, gentlemen, it's been fun. I'll catch you. And that is how you blow up facility, which is defended by a gatekeeper and an Andromedon Omega with almost no losses. Let's say no losses. Or shall we say no even injuries. Zero killed and zero wounded. Operation Godhammer, flawless. I'm going to change this a bit though because most of the, f the people here didn't do much. So I'm going to say Soldier 1 is Sam Fisher. And he's going to be the only one here. Because he pretty much snuck in by himself. While the rest stood watch. And when they got detected, they bailed. With permission. 
Can I not remove soldier six? There we go. Frank had to be in the frame. And the text is just and? <laughs> I don't think that that's quite right. Uh, text. Text box one. <laughs> Tell them to pose near an that's going to be the thumbnail right there. For science, of course. Right there. Okay, I will admit that was a very cheesy mission, and I'll do better next time. It's uh, it's a way to play the game. It's not the way that I usually play the game. I can do better. Anyway, Minstrel, I'll get it to changing that Patreon date. And, oh, by the way, thank you for subscribing. Two months. Thank you. I'll put up a post after the stream is done to make sure that I can correct that. <laughs> By better, do I mean more cheese? No, the next mission is going to be grilled cheese. And then, um, if I fuck up, we can always have Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, Shen, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So, that was a delay of five pips of the Avatar Project. By one very, very cheesy mission. This I gotta see. Smoked cheese, exactly. One, two, three, four, five. Chill. Just like that. Alright, so that was a very, very cheesy episode 65. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. Uh, the chat already classed this as a somewhat cheesy mission, as you might have been able to read. If not, I encourage you to go back in the video a couple of minutes and just have a reread, because uh, they are making some excellent points. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys soon for another episode.